Hey everybody, Sean here, and I'm with uh, my friend John, and we're gonna do a tour of his record room. It's super cool, and uh, here we go. Anything you want to say first? Nope. All right, let's start it <laughs> off. All right, so let's start it off with this poster here, John. Okay, Sean, this is um, a Rush poster that I won at an auction. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how much because I think I paid too much for it. <laughs> but other than that, Rush is one of my favorite groups from the uh, 70s, uh, 80s. Uh, I love Rush. Oh, Rush is great. I'm a big fan too. Uh, great songs, great group. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, if you want to go down to the stereo there, um, that's a JVC SR301. That is uh, 60 watts per channel. And uh, this is the most powerful one I have right now, uh, amplifier I have right now. Uh, I'm in the midst of getting new amplifiers, more powerful amplifiers, and that'll be for another show for you. Nice. But Great. this one here has the uh, gyroscope tuning here. Super cool. Um, yeah, you know, you don't see this a lot. You'll see this on the uh, Marantz, uh, this JVC model, and I don't know the other model, but the Marantz are very popular for this as well. Nice. And This feels very specific too. I wish you guys could feel it. It's uh... It feels a lot smoother than how it looks. It's super smooth, Sean, and you can like... Oh yeah, yeah, look at that, it spins. Yeah, it spins like a turntable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, unlike the other popular stereos, it has the, not the knob, but it has the slider. Oh, slider, that was slider. nice. And it has a SEA stereo graphic equalizer, five band equalizer, so you can Put the speakers the way you want them, heavy bass, low bass, whatever you want, treble. Lots of customization. Yeah, lots of customization. Loudness here, tape one, tape two, um, subsonic filters. You can hook up um, You can hook up four speakers to this. Nice. Um, anywhere from four to 16 ohms. Nice. Which is great. And we'll go over here to my uh, JVC. This is a 1979 JVC turntable. Uh, I got this turntable for 20 bucks, believe it or not, Sean. Oh, you got to like that. 20 deal. bucks. Oh, jeez. My girlfriend's, um, uh, one of his friends were, was getting rid of all his uh, stuff, and he just got rid of it for 20 bucks, and I scooped up on it. It's a direct drive turntable, so no belt. Um, oh, it has, cool. It has a pitch control, up, down, automatic return. It's a great turntable. For 20 bucks, I, oh, I, I could go wrong, right? Oh, absolutely not. No, that's fantastic. Who, could, who, who would pass that up? Nobody, unless you're <laughs> pretty weird and don't like <laughs> turntables. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, down here, okay. um, so I just have, you know, this is my most powerful amplifier. Yes. Um, I do have speakers that are rated below what they are right now because I'm in the midst of changing things around and getting other stuff. But these okay. are just KLH satellite speakers with a JBL, a JBL speaker that's uh, rated at 70 watts. Uh, the JBL is a great speaker. Um, it, it puts out the power enough, but I am going to hook up other speakers to this one later on once I get my other amplifiers. Fantastic. I'm in the midst of picking up uh, um, a Marantz 2215, and I'm going to pick up uh, Pioneer SA9502, which is rated at 80, 80 watts per channel. It's a very powerful amplifier, so. Very cool. Yeah. And now we're going to. Okay, we're gonna go for my uh, collectible stuff here too. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Yeah, I'm a big comic and uh, statue collector fan. Um, this is a Captain America, Bucky Barnes. It's not Captain America, Steve Rogers, but Bucky Barnes. Um, if you know anything about the comic books, um, um, uh, Bucky Barnes became Captain America for a bit, and he donned the costume and like for him. And this is a sideshow collectible. Um, there's there are very limited editions. I think there's only like a thousand ever made. And wow. uh, he's got leather pants on. That's real leather. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's real oh, leather. That's cool. He was the sidekick, wasn't he? Yeah, he's the sidekick of. Uh, yeah. yeah. Bucky just sounds like a sidekick name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a superhero name. Yeah, cool, these, it is now, but yeah. And these aren't cheap. I bought this about four years ago for three hundred twenty-five. I can sell it for about six hundred, seven hundred bucks now. So. Nice. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. Turn this way. Yeah. Um, so here, another <laughs> um, auction I won is David Bowie. I love David Bowie, everyone. Dave Bowie's one of my all-time favorites, along with the Beatles. Um, so um, I got up an auction again, the same auction that the Rush came from, and uh, I think I paid a good deal for this one. But I don't care what the money's worth. I love David Bowie. Oh no, it's great with the Les Paul too. I it like is, that. Yeah, I love it. That's why I that's why I won. And this is his younger years. He's really young here. Look look at the picture. Oh yeah, it's like right after. Young. Yeah, 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 right after he did, he did the androgynous, yeah, super long hair exactly. stuff. Yeah. So I love that. Very cool. So we'll get down here, we'll start up at my turntable. This is a linear tracking turntable by Realistic. Um, 
but um, if anyone knows Realistic back in the 70s and uh, like late 70s, uh, Realistic was just another name for Pioneer. Pioneer just like um, changed names. Well, they didn't change names. They just made other equipment and just named them different names. Just, 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 just to spread out their line. Yeah, yeah. Wider, just right? no, another way to sell yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And they sell it. So this is a linear tracking tire trail. This is belt driven, and. Explain linear real quick for people who don't know. Linear is, you know, in your normal turntables, um, it's just an arm that you pick up and you put down and it goes... It goes, right, yeah, and into the thing. Yeah, yeah, into the record, into the grooves. But linear is all electronic where this arm here just slides across a, the base here and there's a laser here that actually reads how big the record is. So you can switch it from 35 to 45, and the laser will automatically read it and then return it back. Yeah, it's supposed to be a lot more of a true uh, sound too, yeah, right? Yeah, true sound, and um, it's it skips less, right? Yeah. As as a, as as another chamber, so I can I can hit this thing while it's playing, and it won't skip. Well, oh, that's awesome. Right? You gotta like that. Yeah, yeah it won't skip, and it, and it has nice four big damping uh, at the bottom there. You can't see them, but damper. Oh yeah, yeah, I got them. Yeah, they're very they're cool. really big and really cushy. So yeah, nice. Yeah, that's, 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 that, that thing's beautiful. Yeah, and this is one of their lower end models, but you know, I bought a new needle for it, and it sounds it sounds sounds high end now. Oh, there you go. You know, right. the needle the needle, in my opinion, is one of the most important things on 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 any turntable. You got to get a high quality needle. Oh yeah, if you right. if that, that's where it all starts from, exactly. right? Exactly. The needle. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's a turntable. So what I have hooked up to it is the Telefunken. I know people out there are going to say, Ah, Telefunken, that's shit, I've never heard of that crap before. Well, it ain't crap, everyone. Telefunken <laughs> is a German company. I know everyone loves the Japanese. They make good Japanese stuff. Japanese capacitors, this, are really good. But the Germans made great Telefunken stuff. And they were selling their stuff in Europe, um, all over the place in Europe, whereas North America was selling all the Japanese stuff. Um, if you're lucky enough to own a Telefunken, anything Telefunken, then you're a lucky person. So I got lucky at this, the first digital Telefunken. This is the first one that ever came out in 1981. So here comes, the top part here is the amplifier, the DC amplifier RM300. This amplifier here is extremely rare. It's a very rare amp. You'll be hard pressed to find that amp anywhere anymore. They're just impossible to find. For the rest of the two pieces, you can probably find them, but they're still hard to find. Um, so down here is the tuner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very and cool. And it's all digital. You got a calculator on there too. Yeah. <laughs> it's all reset. Everything's all set up to, for the channels, the radio stations, everything. Yeah, that's awesome. On there. Um, and this is the beautiful pre machine. Yeah, this is the preamp. Okay. Okay, with all the volume control. So it's got volume, balance, treble. Um, bass and the mid-range. So what the mid-range is, the mid-range is if you're, um, let's say you have a, a song that's more um, not not instrumental, more voice. Okay. You can put up the mid-range and you can hear the voice even more. It oh, okay. clears up the voice even more, right? Oh yeah, I guess so, yeah, right? Because yeah. that's, that's usually where they, pl they put it in the, exactly. in the panning is right in the middle, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. And it does come with a remote control, but <laughs> You try and find. Oh try, yeah. Try and find a 1981 <laughs> remote control. You're not gonna find it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. For, for this thing, Some, someone's not gonna have a stored remote control with this thing. You can't find it anywhere. I have to go to Europe. Oh yeah, I and, bet. Yeah. And, and search through around. like Goodwills yeah, and stuff. Yeah. yeah for a remote. Find, because you're not gonna find it here. No, that's that's pretty funkin' crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Tell funkin' crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Had to do the pun at some point. Yeah. 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 It's too obvious. Um. And so these three. Um. Um, if you were to look for them now, these three, um, you, you'd probably pay about 500 or $600, but I got a good deal. But I'll tell you what I've got totally once we get down to this tape deck okay. here. Okay, and down to the tape deck. So, so if you get down this tape deck, this is a Telefunken tape deck. This is part of the line of this one that matches everything. See, RC300, yeah. RP300, RG300, ARM300. The 300 stands for the whole series of the line, right? Yeah. So this is a two-speed, this is all mechanical. Okay, so there are no... Um, All analog? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So how do you put the tape in? You just, you just slide in the tape, put it in like that. Yeah, that's then, super cool. You see the tape too, right? Yeah, the whole yeah, time? Yeah, you see the whole tape. And to take it off, you just put both your fingers in here. And these two levers, and you just pull it back up. Just a nice pinch, Simple. eh? Yeah, yeah. 
So this thing is this thing has a slew of stuff to, to offer. You can slow down the tape. You can oh. you can slow down the tape, the speed of the tape, and make it faster if you want. That's cool. I've never seen that. Yeah. Now why they made that, I have no idea, Sean. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea because tape uh. only goes one speed, as far as I know. But exactly. Yeah. There, right? I've but, never heard of a forty-five uh, K for however right. you want to word it. Yeah. Yes, but they made it for some reason. But it's weird. Um, <laughs> so it's 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 got everything: timer, autoplay, memory. Um, there's your slow here, your filters, Ooh. your different tapes, your metal, your CR2s, your fares, um, and here, here is uh, ohm. It um, increases the ohms on it. Oh, very neat. Cool. Eh? Very cool. That's really impressive. And recording in and out, the whole thing, eh? Yeah, it's it's crazy, and the record level. And these oh, lights nice. are absolutely beautiful when they're on, Sean. They're they're really nice. Can you turn them on real quick? Yeah, I'll have to put in a tape for you. Oh yeah, no problem. This is a weird tape. <laughs> All right. Doesn't like that. Yeah. So I'll have to switch over to tape, and then I'll play tape. Oh, that's awesome. So this is a I don't know this is a DJ rap song. I, I guess back so. in the eighties. Hey, remember this song? My name is Red, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So and I'll show you the um, I'll show you the slowdown. Okay. <laughs> See? That is so cool. Like what is it just for DJs or something? That's so cool. Yeah, that's what I think so for for DJs, right? That is awesome. I really dig that. Strange, eh? That's awesome. Oh, hey, it's, it's, it has to serve some kind of purpose. Oh, exactly, yeah. Hey, that's... Wow. Maybe there's weird German tapes or something like that. Yeah. Huh. That's cool. But anyway, this unit here, <laughs> if you were to find this unit by itself, it's probably at least $200, $300 by itself. But back back in the 80, um, 81 when it came out, it was selling for $900, top the line Whew. tape deck back then. That's, that's wow. Yeah. And how you take it off, you just put your fingers there and you take it out. Nice and nice and easy, nice and simple. Yep. Yeah. And tape counter, reset, read memory, it's got everything in it. Everything you need and then some. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. I, to tell you the truth, I rarely use tape, Sean. I oh, just, yeah. I just bought it because I love the look of it and it looks brand new. Does it look brand new to you? Oh, it does. It looks like something you could go buy in uh, Future Shop if yeah. they still sold cool stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the person who owned it must have like barely used it because I didn't have to repair it or replace anything in it. Yeah, probably an old couple or something maybe. Yeah. Huh, that's cool. So. Yeah, that's real sweet. And the speakers, we'll go over with the speakers yeah. here. These are Paradigm. Oh. Before I go to the speakers, it's 50 watts per channel on this one. Okay. It, it is it is an average. It isn't very high. It's it's an average. The the JVC was 60. Yeah, 60 so watts per channel. A bit so lower, yeah. 50. But um, they're saying they're saying between 50 and 100 watts. There's only like a three to five decibel difference. Okay. Which isn't it is it isn't it isn't a lot depending on the record you put in, depending on the tape you put on, depend on. All kinds of variables. Your needle on your record, the the mm. kind of tape you're using. It's it it's it's all all, all variables come into come into play on that. Oh yeah. But the speakers are overpowered for this system, but uh, they still sound great. Mm. Um, so they're a pair of Paradigm 9 SE speakers, rated at 150 watts at four ohms. Nice. So oh yeah, and that's another one. Um, the great thing about this system, it takes four ohm speakers or eight ohms. See, uh, four ohms is going to draw more power out of the amp. Yeah. But it's going to give you more power from the speakers, right? Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. So, so that's that. And uh, we'll go over here to one of my shelves. <laughs>